Okay, a couple variations now. If you need a loud note, now we can use the drum head part. If you wind up in a program with uh, tambourines with no head, that's really only appropriate for pop music and rock and stuff like that, or striking with a stick. You really, really want a tambourine with a head for band and orchestral literature, unless a specific effect is called for. Right? But your typical tambourine part implies this instrument setup. So, now, variations. If I want a louder sound, obviously I can strike with more force on the edge, or less, and I can tailor that by adding and removing fingers. So if I want a little more deeper sound, I can add my other two fingertips. And similarly, I can take them away. So now I'll just play with two. Now one. Right, so I can tailor the sound that way. If I want more of the instrument activated, now I can move into the head. A typical thing would be to take your hand, open it up, and then play on the head. Right, so different sound than... If you want a loud sound... See how that, see if I use the bird beak in the center of the head, I get some of the drum sound, but it sounds sort of dead. Has that sort of weird overtony mixture in it. I don't want that. If I need a really loud pop, a really loud accent, I'm going to make a fist, and with the flat part, these knuckles here, I'm going to strike flat against the head like this. Let's go back from the phone a little bit. Okay, so fist, the fist technique is, is good. It gets all the weight of my arm and my hand. It's the most mass that I can use to strike the tambourine with. And again, so your flat part of your knuckles here, striking against the head. Okay, now what happens when we have faster rhythmic passages? There's a huge variety of techniques. I'll show you three of the most common ones, or maybe three or four. One of the most necessary things for playing tambourine is a chair or some other way to raise your leg. All right, so now that I've got my re leg raised, if I need to play soft, fast, rhythmic, intricate passages, now I can put the tambourine down on my leg. Um, John Parks down at Florida State has uh, a special trick where he puts his hamburger belly on there, and now his hands are free, right? If I put the tambourine out here, you know, it can shake around, it can move, something like that. If you brace it up under your belly, then... Now your hands are free, and now you can play it just like a snare drum. And so for something fast like, uh, you know, the Holst, uh, the Holst Band Suite in E-flat, that second movement has uh, those fast tambourine notes. I'll actually just play that excerpt here. So now that I'm braced here, now I'm just going to play on the edge with my fingers. Right, so here's exercise number two from page 62 uh, with this technique. If you want even deader sound, put your hands on the tambourine. If I need to play fast rhythmic passages but loud, now I have a couple of options for what we call the knee fist technique. Um, the most common one is to find a location, uh, perhaps a hard strike before that passage, where you can actually flip the tambourine over. So I'm going to go. Right, so now the tambourine is flipped. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that fist to play the drum, and then on the opposite notes, I'm going to strike the drum against my knee, right? So if I wanted to go one and a two and... And what I would do here is I would play all the eighth notes. I would basically use the natural sticking idea that we talked about with snare drum, but with knee, uh, with fist and knee. So all the eighth notes are going to be fist notes, so they're consistent. And then all the inside sixteenth notes, uh, the e's and the uhs, would be st strokes against the knee. All right. 
right? Flip it back over. If you don't have time to do a flip, you can do the same thing with the tambourine right side up and using your knee here. You can do the same thing if you have fast rhythmic stuff, but you don't need quite as much volume, you just go back to the bird beat. All right, so that's some of the knee fist uh, and other fast passage techniques. I'll come back on the next video and we'll play some rolls.